version of My Hometown from Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, and uh, the brand new one, in fact, we just world premiered that the other night. I've gotten a bunch of letters similar to this. This one uh, is one of the nicest that I've gotten. It's from Corinne uh, Vapner from Normal, Illinois, and I guess she goes to Illinois State University, and Corinne went to see Bruce in Chicago, and uh, if, you, if you went to see Bruce at any of the shows anywhere around the country, and you just saw My Hometown, the video, you get a feeling or you sort of flash back to what the live show was all about. Corinne writes, I've never felt so warm in my life. 70,000 screaming people screaming as one. The stadium began to rock. I mean, literally. I've never seen 70,000 people wave their hands all in one direction. I've never seen the wave done seven times in a row by 70,000 people. I've never heard an entire song sung so clearly by 70,000 people. I've never danced the twist with 70,000 people. I've never seen more lighters lit than at his show. It looked like the Chicago skyline was in Soldier's Field. A pretty impressive sight, and I know that a lot of people were uh, kind of upset about Bruce doing this stadium tour, but I have never seen a guy or a band move 70,000 people or more the way that Bruce Springsteen did. Good to have some love. <laughs> Nothing less than a hero, Bruce Springsteen was one artist who stood above all the others in 1985, and no matter how big Bruce got, he could still relate to his fans, and they could still believe in him. He makes great music. He makes New Jersey proud. New Jersey takes a lot of slack, but we got Bruce Springsteen, and nobody else does. I've never really seen or been a part of anything quite that uh, positive. Bruce's fans are really over the top, as they say. Ah! Bruce played the biggest tour of the past year and a half, performing in huge stadiums as though they were intimate clubs and grossing nearly $90 million in the process. The tour went to 17 countries, and while American policies were taking a beating abroad, Springsteen presented an alternative vision of America. When you're in Europe and you see, you see the American flag flying, man, it's, 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 a, it's a wonderful thing. And when you see people stand up, born in the USA, you know, and you're in a foreign country, you say, wow, man, I, I'm in somewhere else. And, and these people are talking about, it, it, it does bring about a sense of nationalism that is really, really wonderful. Of course, for some fans, he was just sexy. What do I like about him? I love his bum. <laughs> his bum! Oh, his bum! They all like his bum, folks. Do you love me? Back home, Born in the USA passed the 10 million mark in sales, the fourth largest selling album in history. It rode the top 10 all year long, spinning off seven hit singles and five videos. This is your hometown. But Bruce's influence went deeper than the charts. He made politics a high priority in 85, singing on Sun City and We Are the World, donating over a million dollars to unions and food banks, and supporting workers and Vietnam veterans. I don't feel paralyzed anymore because of Bruce Springsteen, and I really mean that. All this, and he got married, too, on May 25th in a secret ceremony to actress model Julianne Phillips. They honeymooned on tour. Certainly, 1985 will be remembered as the year Bruce Springsteen was finally elevated to legend status. But it was also one in which he repaid the faith of his millions of fans with his spirit, his generosity, and his great rock and roll. This has been the greatest year of my life. And uh, I want to thank you for making me feel like the luckiest man in the world. <laughs>